Okay. You know, today we did the opposite of the opposite, which threw a bunch of you off. And I, I, I think maybe doing it in a video and having given you a chance to think about it a little bit will make it a little bit easier. Um, also, the numbers sometimes throw you off, right? Just remember the opposite will have a negative in front of it. And the opposite of the opposite will have two negatives in front of it. All right, so say you start with a word like hot. What's the opposite of hot? Cold. What's the opposite of the opposite of the original word hot? It's hot again. Because if the opposite of hot is cold, then the opposite of that is hot. All right, why would they do this to you? That's another story, but let's try it with a number. Say a regular number like five. So I ask you, what's the opposite of five? You put the negative in front of it, negative five. What's the opposite of the opposite of five? Just five. Why? Because this is the same thing as this. The double negative cancels out. These are the same thing. So you don't need this. This is really that. All right, try again. This time you try. And you can always pause it in between. Or maybe I'll take a short pause. Try the number 10. Although now that you see it in a chart, it's easy. What's the opposite of 10? Negative 10. Why? Because both 10 and negative 10 are the same number of spaces away from zero. They have the same absolute value. What's the opposite of the opposite of 10? It's still 10. Opposite of the opposite means the same thing that you start with. All right, it just goes in a circle. The double negative is really a positive. All right, so in a problem like this, the opposite of the opposite of 10 plus 5, the opposite of the opposite of 10 is really plus 10, which is really just 10. So what's 10 plus 5? 15. The other thing we talked about was absolute value. Absolute value means how far from zero. <laughs> so negative 1 and 1. How far is negative 1 from zero? One space away. How far is 1 from zero? One space away. So the absolute value is shown with those two big lines of negative 1 is 1, which is the same thing as the absolute value of 1. All right. Huh. Put that into a problem. What's the absolute value of negative 5 minus the absolute value of negative 3? It really means what's 5 minus 3? 2. Negative 5 is 5 spaces from 0. Its absolute value is 5. Negative 3 is 3 spaces from 0. Its absolute value is 3. All right, so you've watched this far. I told you I keep it short. But I do want to have some way of checking to see that you've watched it. So I won't write this. I'll just say it. I'm going to give you a little piece of paper tomorrow, at like an RUA. If you write your name on it and leave it blank, I'll know that you watched the video. All right? So write your name on it and leave it blank. All right. Now, one more problem. Let's do the opposite of the opposite of the absolute value of negative 10 minus... <laughs> The absolute value of negative 5. All right, remember, this cancels out. So this is the same thing as this. What's the absolute value of negative 10? It's 10. It's 10 spaces from 0. What's the absolute value of negative 5? 5. What's 10 minus 5? 
It's five. All right. The only other thing that's going to be on the quiz will be comparing numbers like negative five and negative four. Which one is bigger? Put them on a number line. All right. The closer the numbers are to zero, the bigger they are. And the negatives, right? The further to you, the right you go, the bigger they get. So which one's bigger? Negative four is bigger. The mouth would eat the bigger number. That's called an inequality. Mm -hmm. Try another one. Uh, negative 100 and 1. Positive number is always bigger than a negative number. Make it a little bit harder. The absolute value of negative 100 and 1. Now this is bigger because the absolute value of negative 100 is 100. And 100 is bigger than 1. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully I kept it fairly short. Six minutes. All right. Math 6 and 6. And I'm done. See you.